Have you considered that your daily protein powder might contain harmful pesticides or heavy metals? If not, time to take a hard look at the contents of your supplements. A self-funded report that analyzes popular protein supplements in the Indian market highlighted several issues. mislabeling of products fungal toxins heavy metals and pesticide detection all of these can have severely damaging side effects especially on your liver and kidneys there is a huge market for protein supplements in india which is estimated to be worth a whopping 33028 crores according to research by the imarc group in 2023 and this is only growing with new homegrown brands coming up every day What triggered the need to dive deep into this subject? Dr. Abby Phillips, the corresponding author of the study explains. The Food Safety Standards Authority of India received last year close to 40,000 cases. Uh, most of them were, you know, criminal cases and civil cases regarding quality of protein and uh, problems with protein supplements in the market, including dietary and herbal supplements. So but we just know know that part of uh, the story, right? We don't know which these companies were. what the problems were in those products has it harmed anybody if it if it did harm somebody was it self limiting harm or was it a serious harm so all of this we I mean, the public was completely uh, let out uh, without you know uh, going into the details of what was happening the analysis published in the journal medicine found that a staggering 70% of the 36 protein supplements tested had inaccurate protein information In some cases brands offered only half the protein content they advertised and others had very high levels of protein which can also lead to some major issues but ultimately this some this is something serious too because there is something known as protein spiking or amino acid doping where manufacturers intentionally uh, add cheap amino acids or cheap quality protein to uh, erroneously or you know deceivingly increase the protein content so on testing you will see that there is high protein but actually the quality of protein is very low because it's full of cheap amino acids to make things worse the analysis found that 14% of the samples contained harmful fungal alpha toxins and 8% showed traces of pesticide residue and presence of heavy metals including lead which is one of the most toxic poisons so these are all part of sourcing problems and uh, poor uh you know cleaning or processing of the raw sources uh, that has led to the contamination of these products uh, final product uh, in the with, within these companies so these are the main findings that we identified which have great health implications uh, in those who consume uh, protein supplements of the 36 brands that were part of the study here are some of the best and worst protein brands protein supplements fall under the purview of the FSSAI good manufacturing practices need to be implemented so what is the way forward so uh, that is why i think we don't have good transparent data in india at the moment but i hope that this uh, study actually you know takes all of us one step ahead and especially the government and regulatory bodies where they will now look at things from a different perspective a better oversight and uh, hold responsible for companies who are bringing out uh, poor quality products and uh, st- be stringent with them and then punish them if the, if there is a need only then they will be, they will come in line from the industry point of view what they can offer is they can offer third party certification so there are these very good uh, third party companies that certify products and make it transparent for these uh, dietary and supplement industry they can use their resources and then do that and then put it up on their website or show people that you know you can trust our brand this is what it is and this is transparent data so these two ways i think is the way forward uh, but i think it's it's easier said than done <laughs>